Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Josias, aka Josco. Here on YouTube, here on our channel, Josco TV, we talk about love, we spread the gospel, we spread love, and we show love to people. Thank you guys again for showing up today. And as you can see, we are heading into another topic. Let's watch. <music> What are the fruit of the Holy Spirit? What are the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Oh. <laughs> right now, let's go into it. Galatians 5, 23 which is a verse which is about fruit. It says, But the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, goodness, faithfulness, kindness, self-control, patience, goodness, and such things. There is no law. But before we go into the verse, I would like us to talk briefly about the book of Galatians. Let's try to understand the book of Galatians. Let's try to understand who wrote the book of Galatians. We might say Paul wrote the book of Galatians to the church of Galatia. And if we see, let's go deep to chapter 5. Chapter 5 are divided into two forms. I could say part 1. I could say it's talk about uh, Christ has set us free. Right? And then we could say part 2 is in the same verse. From verse 22, I would say is a step into the Holy Spirit. But today, we, sh we shall be talking about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. If you see, Paul started in the, in the, in the, in the chapter 1 of this verse. It's in the, I mean, um, verse 1, this chapter, we are talking about circumcision, which will be a topic for another day. And then he went talking about the desire of the flesh, which is another topic for another day. And then today's topic is talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit that we shall be looking into there. I always get this, this question a lot of people. They say, why are you always so kind to people? Why are you so always nice to people who are, done, they are doing terrible? People are doing terrible against you. Why are you so nice? Why keep you being nice? And this, when people that speak to me about that nice, I came to understand that nice means the nine fruit of the spirit. And as soon as people say that to me, then I know that I have the true and the true fruit of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is dwelling in me. And I don't need to tell people I am, but I'm glad that by my actions, people can see that they can see the Holy Spirit in me. I ask you how? Let's see this. The Bible says, the Bible says, Jesus said to disciples, by your actions, they will know that you are my disciples. By your actions, they will know that you are filled with the Holy Spirit. By your actions, they will know that you are the ambassadors of Christ. So by that people saying that to me, I came to understand that like, this is the type, these are the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Let's go back and see what Paul meaning by those gifts, fruits, about the Holy Spirit. Paul talks about the gifts and he talks about the fruits, but today we shall be talking about the fruits and a little bit about the, about the gift. As you might know or not know, the image that is often used by the gifts and the fruit of the Holy Spirit is that the, is, is the tree. And the gifts of the Holy Spirit are the roots of the tree and the fruits of the Holy Spirit are the fruits which comes out of the tree. You may ask this, this question, this one goes straight away. It's like, if we only led by the Spirit and open to God's gift, the fruit of the Holy Spirit will be evident in our lives. And in this way, people will see that the Holy Spirit is active in our lives. In our work, in our way, where we treat people, how we treat the community, how we treat other people, how we treat our neighbors. By that our actions, People that will know that the Holy Spirit is dwelling in you. How can I see the Holy Spirit in me? Or how may I see the Holy Spirit? How I see the fruits of the Holy Spirit? 
But I go with love. With love means the spirit lives, joy lives, spirit dances, peace the spirit rests, patience the spirit wants, kindness the spirit gives, goodness the spirit moves, gentleness the spirit acts, faithfulness the spirit dwells, self-control the spirit smiles. Smiles. Here are some of the main scriptures reference to the fruit of the Holy Spirit. This will actually make you understand what are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love first. First Corinthians 13, 4, 7. Paul says, love is always patience and, and, and kind. It's never jealous. Love is never boastful or consented. It, it's never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and it is not uh, resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but the light in the truth, it is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. Joy, Colossians 3, 16, 17. With gratitude in our hearts, sing psalms, hands, and inspire songs to God. And never say or do anything except in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father through him. Let's say peace. Peace we find it in John 14, 27. Peace I live with you, Jesus speak. My peace I, I give to you. Not as the world gives to do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. That's a promise God, Jesus, left with us. Patience, Philippians 4, 6, Paul says, There is no need to worry, but if there is anything you need, pray for it, asking God for it. With prayer and thanksgiving and peace of God, which is so much greater than we can understand. We guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Kindness. Colossians 3, 12. You are God's chosen race. He sent. He loves you and you should be clothed in sincere compassion, in kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. Goodness, Isaiah 58, 7, 8, which says, Share your food with the hungry and open your homes to the homeless poor. Give clothes to those who have nothing to wear and do not refuse to help your relatives. Then my favor will shine on you like the morning sun. Faithfulness, John 17, 20, 21, which says, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one Father. May they be one in us as you are in me. And I am in you. So that the world may believe it was you who sent me. Gentleness. Ephesians. 4, 1, 2, which says, I the prisoners on the, in the Lord implore you to lead life worthy of your vocation. Bear with one another charitably in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. Do all you can do to preserve the unity of the Holy Spirit by peace that blinds you together. Self-control. Philippians 4, 8. Paul says, Finally, fill your mind with everything true. Everything that is noble. Everything that is good and pure. Everything that we love and honor. And everything that can be through, can, can be thoughts, virtue, or worry of praise. These are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And their reference verses in different books. The Spirit was always encouraged. I always encourage people that the Holy Spirit, that the fruit of the Holy Spirit comes only by the by the Holy Spirit. I always encourage people. 
Many people, you find a lot of people asking, Oh God, give me the gift of the Holy Spirit. Give me the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you this. We are all have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We, we, we have the gift. We are born with the gift. Everyone has their gift. A gift is a, yeah, a gift. A gift is something we are, everyone has. Some people have a gift of preaching, some people have a gift of evangelization, some people have a gift of, of playing keyboard, some people have a gift of dancing, people have a, people have different gifts. Even people in the world, they have gifts. But people only don't have love, they don't have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. That's why I always encourage, I encourage you not to pray, God, give me the gift. But pray that God may give you the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because when you have the fruit in you of the Holy Spirit, that means you have the Holy Spirit in you. And when you have the Holy Spirit in your life, the Holy Spirit actually transforms and brings out your gifts out for actions. The Holy Spirit is an act, a generator, to generate your actions out of your life. To bring, the, your, your, to bring your gifts out to people for sin. You have a gift of preaching. The Holy Spirit which is new. He will fill you with the with with this with with this fruit. And then you when you produce the fruits, when you produce the fruit, and that's when your gifts come to action. So I was encouraged. I encourage you today that you you meditate to this word. Try to understand that. Am I missing something? Is there something I'm missing about the fruit of the Holy Spirit? And if you see your life has been in Christ, but you find yourself, you are not, you don't have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You feel like the Holy, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which we just said right here, there's some you are falling short of. Sorry, I will encourage you to pray with me today. That you may continue. That God may help you. God may help you to understand this fruit of the Holy Spirit. That God may fill you, the Holy Spirit may fill you with the, Holy, with the gift of the Holy Spirit. As we said before, the fruit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit is described as a branch. Where the branch... Or where the tree, the tree is the Holy Spirit. Then we have the branches. We have the branch. And then we have the fruit. The branches, they're the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And then we have the fruits, which comes out of the branch. If you don't have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, you only have the branch. Then totally that is totally nothing. The tree can be useless. Someone can cut off the tree because there's no use of the tree anymore because it's not producing any fruits. But when you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit and you have your branch, your branch will help you, which is the gift to generate. When you have the Holy Spirit, which is the tree, and the Holy Spirit will help the branch to gain more, gain more nutrition to produce so that the fruit can be produced. But I'm here to encourage you. For you or wherever you are in the world, you want God, you are the Holy Spirit in your life. You have been away from God for so long. Or maybe your life has been out and in of God. Or maybe you are having the thought of leaving God. Or you're having the thought of coming back to God. But you don't know exactly how. Today I want to pray and to pray for you. Wherever you are, you may just raise up your hands. I just want to pray for you. That the Holy Spirit may be filled in your life. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. I pray. 
I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray right now that let everyone on watching behind the screen, everyone who's watching behind the screen, I pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I confess it. I confess that you receive the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. That you may receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That you may be filled with the Holy Spirit right now, wherever you are. Receive it. Receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Receive the power. Receive the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit be come upon you. Let the Holy Spirit fall upon you. Let the Holy Spirit be filled in you. Not only be around you, but be filled inside you. Let the Holy Spirit come inside your life. Let your spirit manifest. Let the Holy Spirit be manifest in your life. Let your Holy Spirit be short. Let your Holy Spirit be there. Let your Holy Spirit come into your life. I confess as the prophet of the Lord, as the servant of the Lord, I prophesy, I prophesy right now. Let your Holy Spirit come down like in the day of Pentecost. Let the Holy Spirit come down in your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you receive the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit, that you may receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I confess it, I declare it in the mighty name of Jesus that you receive it, that the anointing of the Holy Spirit be upon you, that you may receive the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that you may con- con- start producing the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that you may, con- con- you may start producing the fruit of the Holy Spirit. If your life has been away, if you may only having the fruit of the, you may only having the fruit, and not you may only have, having the gift. I mean, and not having the fruit. I pray right now. I declare right now that you. Start producing the fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will start producing the fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. That you receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Receive the power. Receive the anointing. Rima kaba sheka yaba sanero. Reka mandere bobo stika. Linda karaba shere bosia. Le rembo kosente rebro mosanjo. Linda raba kashente rebrebo. Remba kaba sente rebrebo. Rika raba sheke rebro boso. Receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. I command it. You receive it wherever you are behind the screen. Receive it wherever you are watching. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive the power of the Holy Spirit. In the Karaba Shekare Ebranebos. In the Karaba Shia. The Holy Spirit. Thank you. 